morning everyone so in this short video we will going to learn what is ionization energy and what is electron affinity and what is electronegativity if you look at your atom for example this is the energy level diagram of your atom now if i fill your atomic orbitals up to this level then we call this is highest occupied atomic orbital and this one is the lowest unoccupied atomic orbital now what is ionization energy so this is the minimum energy one needs to give for your atom to knock it out one of the electrons from this orbital so that is the minimum energy so it, it means let's take an example so let's say this is the vacuum level i call that is e is equal to 0 now if i want to knock it out one of the electrons the minimum energy it is needed is from here to here so this is called ionization energy then what is electron affinity so electron affinity is when you give a electron to your atom so how much energy it releases that is called electron affinity so the difference between here and here right so this is already filled so the next electron can only go in this level so so energy difference between these two we call electron affinity these two values ionization energy as well as electron affinity one can experimentally find out but what is electronegativity which we generally hear in all the textbooks so electronegativity is let's say i call that is a kind i plus a by 2 chi is equal to i plus a by 2 basically it means if you know ionization energy and electron affinity one can actually theoretically find out what is electronegativity so by looking at the formula one can easily say what is electronegativity it means so this is i plus a by 2 which is basically somewhere here in between right so energy difference between this this kind of right because there is no real electronic level so electron cannot really stay there so that is the reason why we can't experimentally find out that one. but one, if we have if you know ionization energy and electron affinity one can find out by using molecular formula i plus a by 2 right this electronegativity so now if you know if you understand this energy level diagram one can find out many things okay let me just show same thing with bands okay let's say assume your let's say this is your energy level diagram and you have so this yellow color water you can think that one has electrons and let's say it is filling up to at this point so ionization energy means knocking out at least one of the drop of water from here to here okay. so if you if you knock it out electron from here if you excite electron from here to here in any one of the unoccupied atomic orbitals then we call that is excitation we don't call that is ionization ionization energy means we need to take it out electron completely away from your atom so that you know your nucleus doesn't have any more you know, potential to attract back okay. very good so now if you understand this concept we can extend this one to understand what is polarization right so the polarization means basically the difference between these two okay so highest occupied atomic orbital and lowest unoccupied atomic orbital the difference between these two is very small then we can easily polarize your atom if it is very very high then it is very difficult to polarize your atom for example if you take let's say helium or uh, argon or neon or so on so now the difference between these two levels like completely filled shell and unfilled shell is very very high for example if you have a 1s2 and uh, 2s0 then the difference between 1s2 and 2s0 is very very high that is the reason very difficult to polarize your helium 
So that is the same reason why liquefying helium is very very difficult. So we need to go extremely low temperatures. But if you look, look at for example argon or even uh, higher atomic uh, inert gases for example, they are difficult but it is not as difficult as helium because we can easily liquefy for example argon or helium compared to helium. Because the atom size is very big, easy to polarize and the difference between your completely filled atomic orbitals and uh, unfilled atomic orbitals, the difference between these two are very easy. So, with external perturbation, you can easily you know, polarize your atoms. Then interaction between two atoms would be high. Okay. So that so we're using uh, this simple energy diagram, one can find out uh, what is ionization energy, what is electron affinity, and uh, what is electronegativity, as well as one can also understand polarization. So in the next video, we will be talking about how we can use this energy level diagram of atoms then make your molecular level diagrams and make different energy levels. From there we can understand reactivity of different chemical species.